It's been 10 years since the emergence of the Boko Haram crisis, and other crises have followed, such as farmers' headers' cash, cattle rustling, and am banditry. Issues of kidnapping for ransom, ritual killing, armed robbery, and cyber crimes assumed an alarming proportion, especially in the last one year. Only last week, a serial killer was arrested by the Nigerian police in Port Harcourt River State. We have serious challenges. Some Nigerians argue that it's a direct result of the breakdown of governance and a challenging economic situation in the country. Over the years, we have neglected good governance. Good governance in terms of equity, in terms of accountability, in terms of service delivery to the people, you know, unemployment, serious challenges of um, livelihood. These are the causes of um, insecurity. So people have less money, then there is inflation. Then money can buy little. So, and there is no even job. And this has the tendency of, when pushed because of the current uh, economic challenges, you see that people tend to, some significant or, uh, portion of the population may be pushed to find various means to survive, which is this act of crime. The security agencies say their intervention has continued to work to nip the menace in the bud, but not everybody agrees that it's working. We have been in kinetics. We have been conducting kinetic operations, combats, fighting the bandits, fighting the Boko Haram and Iswap in the Northeast. Alongside this operation, the kinetic operation, we also conduct what we call non-kinetic operations. Why do we conduct non-kinetic operations? It is a kind of humanitarian-led humanitarian operation which revolves around protection of the civil populace within the child of oppression, providing them, doing a need assessment of what they need, what they require to survive in the conflict zone, and of course, being able to provide them with those basic things. When you talk about insurgency or terrorism, there are strategies for it. Basically, there are three ways of doing it. One is to deter, that is prevent uh, terrorism, deterrence. And that is the exclusive um, sphere of the armed forces. Then there's also the defend. Defend your neighborhood, defend your territorial space, and all that. That is exclusive for the police, um, civil defense, and all that. Okay? And then the third arm of it is development. You must develop. If you don't develop your roads, employment, hospitals, clinics, they're going to have problems. There's no connection. They don't synergize. There's no you know, networking among these three. The army is doing their own, you know, they come up with, we've, we've killed so many terrorists, we have done this, we have done that. They turn back, and before you go back, the terrorists are back again. The Office of the National Security Advisor is tinkering with the national security policy. What should be in the new policy? Create a forum for citizens themselves to be able to fully participate, to be accounts to them, to, ask, to enable them to ask questions, to gain their confidence in order to be able to achieve the intelligence gathering you want because intelligence is the background and the pillar for any successful operation. Nigeria is the only federal structure, government, I've seen, federal system, federal con uh, that is a country that is practicing federalism, that still have a centralized and unitary uh, security structure. It will overwhelm it because the kind of a security challenge we have now is going down to the grassroots, so it requires local intelligence, it requires ownership of security by the people. The challenge for the government is to find and apply the best approach to quell the insecurity in the country. Amaka Okafo, Channels Television News.